What's up everybody, it's The Offspring, and this is Farming Simulator 2015 mowing, and it's going to be kind of a cool mowing video because not only we're just, you know, doing the regular mowing with actual lawn mowers, we're going to be mowing with that tractor over there as well. So we're going to be doing some roadside mowing, and we're also going to be mowing around this ball field, I guess you would say, or the diamond field. And uh, yeah, so I guess you would call it uh, municipal mowing. Uh, so yeah, I also have my F-250, F-350. Let's see, I mean, uh, this one says F-250, but you know, you can call it an F-350 technically because it's a crew cab, eight foot box. You, you don't really know in this game because the difference between the 250s and the 350s are 25s and 3500s. Uh, if they're not a dually or just, you know, extra leaf springs. So yeah, but I really like this truck. I, I like Blake's also. I just decided to use this one, this version right here because of the ladder rack. I really wanted the ladder rack on it and the uh, the stuff in the back that it has. But for hauling, I'm going to use the other one. But for this, I'm going to use this. And uh, yeah, so hopefully I'm going to be editing this into a 6 liter. I already have a hauling version of this uh, 6 liter. But I want a actual like this kind. So maybe, you know, uh, hopefully in the actual near future, I'm going to have a custom version of this truck that's going to look exactly like my uh, in real life truck. So I'm really, really happy about that. So yeah, let's lock it up. And yeah, let's go off. Actually, you know what? No, we're going to use that first. <laughs> I was going to say, I might use that first, but I think we should do this one first. So yeah, let's hop back in. Yeah, I might probably change the interior up just a tad bit. I may get Blake to uh, do the uh, custom version of my truck since, you know, he actually made, um, you know, his version of it and whatnot. So I wouldn't really have to worry about permissions or anything because Blake is in the uh, the team, the mod team, so, you know. Whoa. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> all of my stuff is locked right, but that one uh, mower right there, the yellow one, I can't never can seem to get it locked. I, I tried in another trailer too, and it wouldn't lock. So I, I, that was so weird. It was just it, it doesn't. I want to lock, and I I've used it before, but I can't recall. Whoa! I can't recall if I've used it in a mowing video or not. Yeah, and no, remember when I was talking about lag like two videos ago, and I was like, yeah, it's not my computer because you know I got a GTX 970, so I just shouldn't have lag in Farming Simulator. But I explained, you know, that uh, some mods will cause lag, and you know that that's that's a common occurrence, you know, for anybody. You, uh, you've probably heard heard a lot of other you know YouTubers that do this uh, say the same thing. Um, but what I did was, and what I'm probably gonna do in the future is depending on you know what video I'm gonna do. Say like if I do a mod showcase, I'm gonna take out all the mods in my mod folder. Oh, I forgot to unlock the lot, but I'm gonna take out all the. Uh, the mods out my mod folder and just put the mods that I'm showcasing and you know as far as like these types of videos I'm gonna take all my mods that I you know normally have out and put then put in like what I'm gonna use for the video and that goes for all the other videos if you guys think that's a good idea um, you know let me know down in the comments what the heck man I seriously like unlocked the load and then locked it back thinking like maybe uh, it being locked might be the unlock but there it goes now but yeah <laughs> it's whoa but yeah we got this cool Honda push mower which will be in the upcoming mod showcase along with that bumper pull tilt tilt back trailer put him there and then actually we're gonna pull off the trailer I'm sorry about that we're gonna handle the uh, I just decided I'm gonna handle the sides like this right here with the tractor and take up the you know the smaller parts with these dudes right here I'm only gonna put that you know I'm not trying to make it too too fancy since we're only going like literally 15 feet all right let's put that dude up right there I ain't even gonna lock the load it's like going down the driveway and putting your seatbelt on no point <laughs> Unless you're like freaking Seymour. And I mean, that's nothing against anybody <laughs> who has the name Seymour. I just, every time I think of a person named Seymour, I think of like the Steve Urkel kind of dude with like big freaking bug eyes and stuff and just like always has a problem with everything and doesn't have like a sense of humor at all. Like that one type of kid in school to where like 
he'll say something about you and then like dear god if you say something about him he'll flip his junk Oop, got a freaking buzzer going off all right let's park right there and shwabang shwabam shwabang let's uh go ahead and park in the parking space next to it so just in case anybody comes and has practice today we ain't gonna be in no way you feel to me because that'd be just plain rude <laughs> all right let's do a freaking 360 noscop onto the off the uh trailer right here come on the way i i initially got this thing on um when I first started the video, I freaking like 360 no scoped onto it. I'm dead serious. Like, it was the only way to get rid of all of that, like three lawn motors and the push motor fit. I uh, literally like freaking got on top of freaking rust and 360 triple X no scoped, and it actually turned out pretty good. So, yeah, let's hop on here. Back on it, back on it. Look at that wide hips. All right, let's park it right here. And yeah, guys, also I'm going to be announcing the giveaway winners on Thursday, so you know that that you know will be plenty of enough time for everybody to enter. And if they haven't, because uh, you know I really I didn't want to do it any any sooner than you know Tuesday or Wednesday, but you know because I you know I just wanted everybody because I'm I still have been getting entries. That's the reason also why, but. Um, you know the entry have the, the I would say you know the the only times I've really been getting entries is maybe like two a day on the YouTube's oh, come on I'm gonna have to hit that but yeah the only times I've been getting entries is like probably two or maybe three a day on YouTube and the I'll get maybe like six on all the social media stuff I would say but yeah around like six so let's just say about ten total entries so, you know, it's intense still, you know, a decent bit, you know, so I'm going to give people a little bit more time to where, like, if I only get, like, say, one entry that day this week, uh, you know, I, chances are I may, you know, even do it on Wednesday, so. Come on, fella. You know what? Screw it. We'll hit that with the truck after we're done. Whenever we need it. I don't even know if I'm going to use it, to be honest, because... I don't know. I just don't like it. Uh, it's not that I don't like it. It's really, really great looking mower. You know, it's got the, you know, selection to have grass pickup and also, you know, non making it to where it doesn't pick up and you could, you know, bail it and whatnot. But I just don't like the look of it, really. I'm more of a old fashioned kind of like this style zero turn. I like how this one is and the, um, the other one I have, the yellow one. And I'm sure you guys know this, but, you know, as far as the, the chitrins, um, whenever you're loading up your skid steers and want to get more in, make sure you turn the tires when you friggin' load it in so you can, you know, gather more area to, you know, make sure it doesn't clip the uh, trailer gate, especially in, like, this game, you know, I'm not talking, you know, also in real life, but, it, but in this game too, because, you know, you may think you have the clearance, you know, to, to shut that gate, but once you shut the gate, you know, there's going to be a big possibility that it's going to freaking slap your equipment and push it, you know, either push it off the trailer or push it into like a freaking stupid awkward position and you're going to have to fix that or, you know, take off everything off the trailer and, and go from there, which is not fun. I actually had that happen to me today. <laughs> That's why I said that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm also going to be playing... I believe, I think around, I'm, I'll be on around 9 o'clock central today. It's either 9 or 10, uh, and, the, and the reason why I'm saying that is because I, I have some stuff to take care of at my farm um, as soon as I finish recording this video for me, um, but it'll be up around like, let's say, 8 o'clock central time as you're watching this, if you are today, but um yeah, I'll be playing tonight as I am uploading this video at 9 central time, 9.30 I would say, you know. So, you know, make sure to add me on, on the social medias if you do want to play with me. And I'll give you the server information. And also, if you know, if I do uh, hop on the PS4, 
um, you know, my gamer tag is Offspring YT. I get that question a lot. Do you have Xbox One? No, I do not. I have PS4 and PC. So, uh, I, and I, I and another thing is, I, I don't, I don't plan on getting an Xbox One to be honest with you. The only thing I like about the Xbox One is the controller. I was the type of person to where I buy the best. You know what I mean? And and I'm not saying that in a weird way or whatever. You know what I mean? Everybody's got their own opinions and everything, but I buy, you know as far as what the market says if that makes sense you know like for instance i uh when it my you know i, I like the dreamcast when the dreamcast came out i bought the dreamcast and then after that i bought my ps1 and then after that i bought the ps2 because the ps1 and the ps2 were you know like the big dogs you know like that it was better you know and then and then the original xbox came out and i, I got that and then the 360 so you know i went from ps1 to ps2 to Xbox uh, original, I was about to say Xbox One, but I meant Xbox original to uh, the Xbox 360, and I, I I still to this day think the Xbox 360 was a freaking highly superior console compared to the uh, PS3. The only thing I liked about the PS3 was um, at the time when JTAGs were, because uh, I used to host like modded lobbies back in like 2010, and uh, when that became like fully patched or really hard to do everybody kind of made their way over to uh flashing their ps3s and uh just the, the ease of use on that and uh, versus like you know having to actually like take apart your xbox and having to have like like the first time you had to have like an like a certain type of motherboard because they made the xbox 360s with multiple different types of motherboards you know you had your xenon motherboard your zephyr motherboard um and a couple other ones and i had a xenon jtag which is like one of the OGs ones and uh dude, i made thousands and thousands of dollars hosting call of duty modern warfare 2 lobbies not even joking with you like that tablet actually um i'm giving away i bought with uh call of duty freaking modded lobby money that i i had left over <laughs> i'm talking like i had that money left over for like a, over a year and a half after <laughs> Friggin it was pretty sick. But yeah, we're gonna edge up this part right here. And then hmm. I may I know I said I wasn't gonna mow the side, but decided I am and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try let's see, I'm gonna try to get the other side with the uh the tractor over there. And also this see this part of the street right here? I'm gonna uh, get that part right there, but I don't know if we're gonna have enough time for me to like actually cut the whole side on that right on that side right there. So I may have to get it by myself uh, off camera, but I we definitely will have time, you know, to mow all around here and also, um, you know, get the get get enough to where like it you know it looks nice off the street, you know, because sometimes you know you see your lawn dudes come around and and that work for the your municipality for me out there we you know we have we call them parishes which it's always so confusing like when i hear people say counties i'm like what the hell is a county but then i forget i'm like oh yeah that's their kind of parishes because <laughs> like county like sounds like southern you know what I mean? like when i think of like county i'm like okay cool like southern state you know what i mean but then when i like people are like yeah i live in like freaking new york and i live in like this county in new york and it's like what you live in a county in new york like what is that like it makes me think like what I don't know whoever came up the word county like it, it I think like county should be only like used for southern states and uh and or whatever you know what I mean or parishes like how we use because I, I like par I like saying parishes better because it's not just because like oh it makes us unique as a, a state you know but I just like it. it sounds better like counties it's just weird I don't know Everybody probably, the whole rest of the country is probably like, yeah, Peyton, but like, county sounds so much better. Because, like, you know, all of y'all use it. All 49 freaking states use counties besides freaking old freaking Peyton in Louisiana. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's kind of weird. But hey, I like being the Diffarantos. Oogie doogie. Let's switch her up. Dude, my freaking booty is vibrating. My phone's going crazy right now. I don't even know who it is. I don't even know if it's a text or nothing. Dang, I just got like freaking, 
I'm just done. <laughs> I love how like nobody freaking will text me in like an hour, but they'll text me as soon as I freaking hit the record button. I had like freaking, I'm, I'm talking, <laughs> I looked at my phone, I had, four, I had 14 text messages from five different people. Lord, <laughs> what the heck? I guess I'm a little popular dude now. I guess my life goals have been completed. I'm popular. Because, you know, guys, the only thing that is good in life and your only goal should be being popular. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't do that. <laughs> You'll live a miserable life. Oh, yeah, man. I like it. It's mower right here, baby. It's like saying the only thing you can do in life is be a YouTuber. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I wish that was true. But then that would actually suck because nobody would do good because everybody would do it. And that's what I tell a lot of people, you know, they when they ask for shout outs with me, it's nothing against the person. I, I just try to explain to them, I'm like, look, dude, like if I or anyone give you a shout out, it's not going to really do anything for your channel unless like, you know, a gigantor freaking YouTuber is freaking shouting you out, you know, like I'm talking like, you know, at least 200,000 or over, you know. And he could freaking probably even make you freaking a career out of it, but, you know, but the thing is, you know, if you're uploading not that good content, then, okay, cool, you got subscribers, but, you know, those subscribers aren't going to correlate to views if you're not uploading stuff that people don't want to watch, you see what I'm saying? Like, if you're uploading, like, freaking, you know, farm sim content with, like, freaking bandy cam and the freaking bandy cam watermark up in the freaking top of your screen, you know, chances are people people aren't gonna want to, like, you know, stay watching that unless you have, like, you know, one video that they want to watch, but that's one video, you know what I mean? So, you know, you gotta be unique and, and, and try to hit a niche and, uh, and, try, and try to make it to where, you know, if that niche does go away, what can you do to keep it like that? And, you know, I'm lucky enough to where, like, I kind of made my little niche and uh you know I, I i'm i'm lucky like that but you know some people aren't lucky like that and but i mean i i like i say guys you know you gotta stay original you know that's that's how you that's how you get to where you want to be on the tubes or any or anything you know with music or any media but that's what i always try to tell peeps Alrighty, let's go grab this dude Make sure we're locked a lot again, because sometimes, you know, the loads don't lock. Let's back it on up, back it on up, back, back, back. I like that truck right there, bud. Huh? That thing is dope. That's my friggin' high country, guys. Sadly, the team isn't gonna release it, I don't think, but she's a beaut. Tell me, do you think she's a beaut? I got a friggin' white one and a red one. This is the friggin' white fuel edition one. It's friggin' dirt nasty, baby. Pavement princess, live life. Just kidding. <laughs> I know, it's so funny seeing like all these people like tell me, yo dude, lift your truck. I'm like, why? I don't go through mud that much. <laughs> like, and when I do go through mud, it's like mud that I need to go through. You know, like it's fun to go mudding and stuff like that, don't get me wrong, but like I'm not gonna drop a buku amount of money just to like make my truck look cool and like go through the mud maybe once a month you know what i mean like deep mud like that would be needed for a lift you, you understand what i'm saying because like i can go through pretty much good pretty much anything i'm saying like like i, my, I have a stock fx4 you know with the the stock rancho suspension on it and like i've <laughs> i've rarely had issues where i gotten stuck you know what i mean so like why do i need to have a lift you, you see i don't know that's just me like, like I, I, I go through mud a couple times a month, but I never really have any issues to where, like, that would require me to have a lift. Unless, like, I had some extra spending money in my pocket that, you know, I could buy a lift, I guess, and just make my truck look cool. But, I mean, anything I really buy on my truck isn't to make it look cool. It's to make it, like, be better. <laughs> I mean, I hope that's how everybody does it, but, you know, <laughs> I don't think so. You know, like, literally everything on my truck, and people are going to be like, oh, this kid's a six liter, you know, you're spending all your money on, like, friggin' head bumps. No, no. I've n I, my, my, truck's, my truck is at 180,000 miles and still has stock friggin' head, head uh, studs and friggin', uh, I mean, head bolts and uh, gaskets. 
I know I take that back. It's got head studs because I just did the studs in October. I forgot. I forgot. I take that back. I'm sorry. But no, it does have stock head gaskets. And uh, I didn't take the EGR off of it till like freaking three months ago. So, haha. -ha. That shows you if you take care of your vehicle, regardless of what it is, it will last you. I try to explain that to people. They're like, oh, do a Chevy's better than Ford. I thought it was better than Chevy. No, no. They all have their own problems. Everyone isn't perfect. And that goes for people's too. But like, I mean, I don't care what you drive. It's going to poop out on you. They all have like their own disabilities. You feel me? Like, you know, Chevy with its poo-poo front ends or freaking water pumps and injectors and, you know, Ford with the freaking head uh, bolts and studs and and dodge with the freaking dodge <laughs> yeah I said that but yeah friggin let's unload that I mean I love Cummins but I mean the way things are looking with the Nissan is I mean and, and Ford selling it I believe um I don't know how the future is looking for Dodge and Cummins all right let's turn on our type description guys no, no, you don't turn on blades, guys. You turn on type descriptions, okay? Okay? Just remember that. When when your mom's like, or your dad's like, go cut the grass, Kyle. And you're like, mom, the type description's not coming on. And they're like, what? And you're just like, the type description's not coming on. Your dad's like, what are you talking about? And you're like, I'm trying to lower the type description. And he's just like, what the hell are you saying? And you're just like, the blade. The blade, stupid. lift her up yeah we'll be able to I guess cut some of this right here but oh yeah we gotta turn our lights on so we don't aggravate anybody and I'll be right back I'm gonna go get something cool that like might help for role playing this right here all right coming in hot whoa you hear that siren that just tripped me out that I hit that phone phone pole. Oh, I don't like that kind. That friggin' first person mode is too trippy for Peyton. This sucker freaking lags my game hella bad. Or it's just I have a I have my Pentium computer is a uh, freaking overclocked to freaking 0.8 gigahertz and it's just not handling this right now. Yeah, guys, remember I did a video on the John Deere's one and, uh, I, I like the converters ones better. This one's better. Because, uh, the John Deere ones, dude, like, the front axle on that sucker was wank. Like, I'm talking, it, it was like, it looked like a Chevy front end. It, it was just, it was bad. Like, the freaking wheels were all wampas. Let's see if this thing's no collision. Yep, sweet. Why didn't I try that already? I need to experiment in my life more. Actually, no, I take that back. Don't say that, Peyton. You got kids. <laughs> what I meant by that is I need to do little friggin' lifeo experiments more. Drugs and alcohol are bad, I'm gay. Friggin' Mr. Garrison. Man, this thing is frickin' convenient. <laughs> what? is going on here. The conveniency factor is at 100% right now. Fire. 
Whoa. Yeah, this thing's even trippier, homies. Dear lord. What is wrong with this picture, guys? What is wrong with this picture? Nothing. Nothing's wrong. The world is just upside down. We are in a parallel universe. This thing just enters other black holes and just spews you out into another dimension. And in that dimension, everybody lives upside down. You should see their faces too, because, you know, if you're upside down too long, you know, the blood rushes to your head and you pop blood vessels. Well, turns out these guys in this parallel universe don't have blood vessels. What? Yes, I said. I'm a theoretic Thesisostas. Alright, this is where we're going to stop at this tree right here. Actually, no, we're going to stop at the corner, because that's when I'm freaking proper toss. Anyways. And I uh, went ahead and freaking did a little bit of mowing for the fire department, just because they're, you know, the fire department, you want to be nice. 9-11 wasn't that long ago. Well, the anniversary and the uh, event. Shout out to those dudes. Saving people day by day. Modern day heroes. moment there. Alright. Alright, let's give this dude a, a, a go. Hang on, let me t put on my GoPro. Alright, we're good. Steering, uh, turning on this, the other one's a lot better too, I'll say. What is that? You see that? I always see that on a lot of tires. What is that? Why does it do? I don't understand. Alright. I'm actually kind of glad, you know, like, I'm going to say this too, guys, like, I've been doing this my whole YouTube like career thing, whatever you want to call it. Um, I like doing longer videos, you know what I mean. Um, and it's not just because like in in this just recently, you know what I mean, like the last month or two, that YouTube did that watch time crap to where like I don't know some I don't I don't even know what it means to be honest with you. Watch time. <laughs> I just know it says that on my freaking homepage dashboard thing, whatever it means. But yeah. Um, I like making longer videos because, like, personally, when I watch YouTube, I'd rather a video be, like, freaking longer than 15 minutes or, like, 10 minutes. Um, but, you know, that's just me. I mean, I don't know. What do you guys like? Do you like, do you guys like 5 to 10 minute videos or do you guys like 15 minute videos or longer for the YouTubers that you watch? And also for me, you know, tell me down in the comments. That's going to be today's question. Do you like long videos? Do you like short videos? Tell me in the comments below. And while you're down there, make sure you slam that like button because uh, likes help Peyton a lot and help him uh, freaking get ramen noodle money. So make sure you uh, support me and do that so I can have some foods. And, uh, but yeah, guys, um, I think that's going to be it. Actually, no. I take it back. I was about to freaking ditch y'all on the freaking street too early. But we have some push mowing to do. See? Almost kicked y'all at my freaking house. That wasn't too nice. Threw y'all out in the corner. Didn't even give you clothes. Alright. Let's just suck and put this on. Do a little bit of touching up. Ghost cutter. Call the Ghostbusters. Actually, if I saw this in real life, I'd be like, Fire, a ghost is cutting my lawn for me. I wouldn't even call Ghostbusters. Just saying. Because I hate cutting the grass because... Well, it's, it's for my for my grandparents' house when I lived there. 
I hated cutting the grass because I had a push mower, same one as this, but the freaking uh, self acceleration didn't work, and it was 1.5 acres, all hills, <laughs> all hilled up and stuff like that, and it was swampy as crap. So I just I despise that, and I live in Louisiana, and it's hot as hell and freaking humid, so it's miserable. I'd rather have a ride in lawnmower. I wouldn't complain. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure, like I said, give me a big like and a comment. And if you want to play with me, add me on all the social media stuffs. It'll be down in the description. And uh, yeah, guys, if you want to play, you know, like I said, um, 9 to 9.30 Central is what I'm aiming for tonight, uh, the day this video is uploaded. And we're going to have some cool mods coming your way in the future. I got the uh, Tundra almost done, and um, I have another version of the Tundra that's going to be released with it. So stay tuned for like a Tundra old video or something like that or like a let's play on it. And uh, yeah, if you can give me any other suggestions on what mods we should do, uh, let me know. And and if you you know are a good modder and stuff like that and you're looking for support, want to join the team, make sure you hit me up. I would like to have you on the team. And yeah, so I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Later.